Hi and welcome back to Jilly's Nails. Today we are on the second day of the 31 days of Halloween and we are going to do a cute and simple trick or treat manicure. I'm just going through now and cleaning my nails off with some isopropyl alcohol uh, just to make sure all the oils are off. I've been doing some other stuff today. It might have been acetone since I just stuck it on my acetone bottle. <laughs> I'm going back through and just double checking to make sure there's no cotton fiber stuck to my nails. They tend to do that and I actually prefer cotton balls over the lint free unless I have to use a lint free. So there you go. This is the Oont Peel Off Base Coat. I talked about this a little bit in the last video. Uh, I am putting this on very thick. I want it to come off easy. If you want a peel off base coat to stay on longer, you need to do a thinner coat than what you see me doing here. So we're just going to go through and finish doing the rest of the nails. Make sure we cap the ends as we go along. That helps your manicure stay on longer if you want it on longer. Um, like I said, I don't really care because I'm popping these off every day or so while I'm changing them out and trying to get these videos finished. So again, we use the Oont peel off base coat. And while that's drying, we're going to go through the other ones. This is called Innocence. It is from Sinful Colors. And let me give you a fair warning. It is a stainer. Bad. One of the worst stainers I have ever used. It turned my nails orange. Um, that is Maniology Stamping Polish Straight Up Black. It is one of the best black stamping polishes I've ever used. I love it. I'll link it below for you. And the Sally Hansen dries instantly shiny top coat. <clears throat> what I'm doing here is going through and just cleaning this plate off with acetone. It has a blue film on it when you first get them. It is sticky. So I just go through, clean the plate really well with acetone. <clears throat> Excuse me. To make sure that the uh, that the images come off clearly and there's no nothing that interferes with the stamping at all. It's a really cute plate. It's from Maniology. <clears throat> Again, the BM is Bundle Monster. Bundle Monster used to be Maniology, or Maniology is now Bundle Monster. There we go. Um, it's a super cute plate. It has all kinds of cute little sayings on it. And then we have the Ice Cube Stamper there. You know, it's really just preference on those. Some people like that one, some people hate it. I do like it. We also had a monocle stamper there, and I am going to use the lint roller to prep that monocle stamper. <clears throat> In my opinion, that one is better for detail work than the um, ice cube stamper. It's really good, but it's also very big. So <clears throat> a lot of times if I need really precise images, I prefer the ice cube stamper. The monocle stamper is so much bigger that it picks up extra stuff on the plate where you might have smeared polish over another image. It just takes more time to take it off, that kind of stuff. You don't really have that problem with the ice cube stamper. But the monocle stamper, in my opinion, is better for very detailed work. And it's actually easier for beginners. So if you're newer, it's a good one to go ahead and pick up. And we're just going through and painting that Innocence color on um, as a base coat. It is fairly opaque on the first go around. A lot of the lighter shades from Sinful Colors tend to be a bit thick when you apply them. Uh, if you don't like that, you can just take some nail polish thinner and thin it out yourself. We're going in here with the second coat just to make sure that we have an even application and everything looks nice. We're not putting anything else on top of that. We're just going to stamp on it. So we just want to make sure it all looks good. And if I could quit hitting my cuticles, that would be wonderful. Do I stop though? Eh, nah. It happens all the time when I'm trying to film because it's very difficult to see what you're doing from the camera angle, the opposite of what the camera angle needs to see. So a lot of times, no joke, I'm painting blind. Still, it's fun. I love it. I don't care. So we're going to go through, finish that off, make sure everything's very even and give that some time to dry a bit. We're also going to go through, uh, put another Sally Hansen clear coat on top after we do this cleanup. Um, again, I don't let you know, stuff that needs to be cleaned up sit on too long. For me, my cuticles tend to be really dry. And I mean, I oil the bejesus out of my cuticles. 
they still get super dry constantly. So if I let polish actually dry onto them, it makes it harder to get off. So I, you know, periodically go through while I'm painting and just kind of clean it up. There is our Sally Hansen top coat. It is a shiny top coat and I love this one. It dries so fast. I, I would really say it's right at a minute, maybe two, and you can touch it without smudging. I mean, you can't like dig your finger into it, but you can touch it and not smear it. It's a really good one. Um, and I love using that. Also, it's very thick. So when you go through and use it as just a top coat, it's got this really thick, almost glassy layer to it. I really like it. This is that same Maniology play we discussed before. I really think this one is super cute. We are going to use a trick or treat saying that's on it and it's got a cute little bat above it. And then we'll also be using a cauldron that says some fire burn and cauldron bubble. I think it's a the Hamlet quote and is it Ham or Macbeth? I can't remember. I think it's the witches, one of their little quotes out of that. It's really cute and it looks super cute together, especially on top of this uh putrid green <laughs> nightmare of a polish that stains and ugh. so I went through and I actually pulled that one in a couple times it did not want to stamp correctly uh, it's not on this one actually now that I think about it it's back on the um, when I do the next stamp it really was just a hassle on the cauldron and I think it's because it's on the uh, the edge and the way I had to scrape to get it to lift up for myself it was just a mess I mean it, it took a couple times and usually that stuff just pops right off for me so I don't know if it was just me if I was just having an off night or what but it was acting up so we're going to go ahead and switch over to that now and you'll see there's gonna be twice I think that I go through and try to get it to stamp cleanly so that I know it's going to look good, that doesn't have any cracks in it. It was just being weird. And that one right there looks like it should have been a really good stamp right off the bat. But there was something about it I didn't like. It didn't pick up all the way or something. I had to clean it off and do it again. Um, so yeah, I think I end up actually going through and doing that two or three times before I get it to pick up how I like. And again, I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's because it was on that weird edge. It has teeny, teeny, tiny writing underneath it. And I have to tell you this about Maniology. They are fantastic on the writing on a plate. Um, if you have the right stamper and it picks it up, oh man, it's always just very crisp and clear. One of the best ones I've ever seen for little tiny detailed images like little bitty lettering. They always just hit it right on. I'm not sure how they do it. I don't know who their artist is that does it, but they're doing a dang good job because their plates are always really good. And that one, I remember as soon as I scraped it that I really liked that and went, yep, 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 this one's going to work. This one's going to work. Get it on your nail before it falls apart. So I went through very quickly and tapped off the excess that was around it. Go ahead and put my fingers down. And when I stamp, just straight down, press in rock that one just a little bit. I just wanted to make sure it was sealed because it was so wide it didn't feel like it was really kind of wrapping around my finger. But it transferred cleanly. It looks great. I actually really enjoyed that one. I was a little disappointed I had to take it off especially when I saw that my nails were stained a lime green orange monstrous. It's on my Instagram. Jilly's Nails at Jilly's Nails, all spelled out. J I L L I E S N A I L S. Yeah, you can go look. It was it was bad. It was the worst nail staining I think I've ever had. That wasn't a blue one. So um, yeah, not cute. And I'm just going through now and putting a top coat over the stamping. I let this stamping dry for two to three minutes minimum before I come in and try to float on top of it and I gotta tell you it scared me I thought I was gonna smear it it didn't but I came close to smearing it so really if you have the time let it dry for about five minutes see how that works out and as you can see I'm kinda just dropping the polish over the bigger images so that I can float it I hear people talk all the time you need to float the polish you need to float but they don't tell people how to do it that is how you do it you have your little drop there, 
<clears throat> you let it fall and then you just kind of run over that drop you do not want your bristles to drag over the image that's how you get smears and it looks like I missed a whole section on my nail I don't know why it looks that way I didn't it looked fine in person but on video it looks weird for some reason maybe I went back in and edited it and didn't catch it <laughs> like where I went in and fixed it I don't know but it didn't look weird in person it's all smooth and everything leveled out great it's beautiful love it I think it's super cute and a lot of fun for Halloween so if you like this video go ahead and like it give me a thumbs up give me a subscribe check me out on Instagram and Facebook and if you missed yesterday's video go back and check it out